Now we are going to talk about Groover's search algorithm. More particularly, we are going to give some extra details uh, which are not included in the slides, including a uh, proper example. So first of all, the statement says that we have an unordered array of n elements. n elements. And we want to find a particular element. A very naive solution would be just to loop to all the elements going step by step and when we find the answer we just stop. Uh, the expected value of number of operations is n divided by 2. Why is that? Imagine we have all the elements 1, 2, 3 and so on till n. If the answer is at the first position, we'll have one operation. If it's at the second position, we have two operations and so on. For position k, we have k operations. In order to find the expected value of the number of operations, we have to compute the average of all cases. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on plus n divided by the number of cases, which is n. So we'll have n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2, this is the sum, divided by n. So the answer is n plus 1 divided by 2, which is the same with n divided by 2. Of course, this is not very optimal. We, with Groover's search algorithm, we are aiming for square root of n. Good. Now, um, Groover's search algorithm basically use two little tricks. F first is called phase inversion and the second one is inversion about the mean. Uh, what is the algorithm basically